We don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. My mission, should I choose to accept it, is to find peace with exactly who and what I am. To take pride in my thoughts, my appearance, my talents, my flaws, and to stop this incessant worrying that I can't be loved as I am. It takes courage to push yourself to places you have never been before. To test your limits. To break through barriers. And the day came when the risk it took to stay tight inside the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Don't let one cloud obliterate the whole sky. We do not grow absolutely, chronologically. We grow sometimes in one dimension, and not in another, unevenly. We grow partially. We are relative. We are mature in one realm, childish in another. The past, present, and future mingle and pull us backward, forward, or fix us in the present. We are made of layers, cells, constellations. And the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. We do not escape into philosophy, psychology, and art we go there to restore our shattered selves into whole ones. We see the world as we are, not as it is, because it is the eye behind the eye that does the seeing. You cannot save people. You can only love them. I only believe in fire. Life. Fire. Being myself on fire I set others on fire. Never death. Fire and life. To withhold from living is to die. The more you give of yourself to life the more life nourishes you. Each friend represents a world in us, a world not born until they arrive, and it is only by this meeting that a new world is born. There are many ways to be free. One of them is to transcend reality by imagination, as I try to do. You are the poet, you walk inside my dreams. Each contact with a human being is so rare, so precious, one should preserve it. I'm restless. Things are calling me away. My hair is being pulled by the stars again. The only transformer and alchemist that turns everything into gold is love. The only magic against death, aging, ordinary life, is love. I love the abstract, delicate, profound, vague, voluptuously wordless sensation of living ecstatically. When you possess light within, you see it externally. I am an excitable person who only understands life lyrically, musically, in whom feelings are much stronger as reason. I am so thirsty for the marvelous that only the marvelous has power over me. Anything I cannot transform into something marvelous, I let go. Reality doesn't impress me. I only believe in intoxication, in ecstasy, and when ordinary life shackles me, I escape, one way or another. No more walls. Tranquility is contagious, peace is contagious. One only thinks of the contagiousness of illness, but there is the contagion of serenity and joy. Life is a process of becoming, a combination of states we have to go through. Where people fail is that they wish to elect a state and remain in it. This is a kind of death. Pain is something to master, not to wallow in. Age does not protect you from love. But love, to some extent, protects you from age. I don't really want to become normal, average, standard. I want merely to gain in strength, in the courage to live out my life more fully, enjoy more, experience more. I want to develop even more original and more unconventional traits. If I love you it means we share the same fantasies, the same madness. 
What we call our destiny is truly our character and that character can be altered. The knowledge that we are responsible for our actions and attitudes does not need to be discouraging, because it also means that we are free to change this destiny. One is not in bondage to the past, which has shaped our feelings, to race, inheritance, background. All this can be altered if we have the courage to examine how it formed us. We can alter the chemistry provided we have the courage to dissect the elements. Reality doesn't impress me. I only believe in intoxication, in ecstasy, and when ordinary life shackles me. I escape, one way or another. No more walls. What everyone forgets is that passion is not merely a heightened sensual fusion but a way of life which produces, as in the mystics, an ecstatic awareness of the whole of life. Willingness to explore everything is a sign of strength. The weak ones have prejudices. Prejudices are a protection. You live out the confusions until they become clear. I want to love you wildly. I don't want words, but inarticulate cries, meaningless, from the bottom of my most primitive being, that flow from my belly like honey. A piercing joy, which leaves me empty, conquered, silenced. I will not adjust myself to the world. I am adjusted to myself. The real wonders of life lie in the depths. Exploring the depths for truths is the real wonder which the child and the artist know. Magic and power lie in truth. With her eyes alone she could give this response, this absolutely erotic response, as if febrile waves were trembling there, pools of madness. Something devouring that could lick a man all over like a flame, annihilate him, with a pleasure never known before. You don't find love, it finds you. It's got a little bit to do with destiny, fate, and what's written in the stars. I, with a deeper instinct, choose a man who compels my strength, who makes enormous demands on me, who does not doubt my courage or my toughness, who does not believe me naive or innocent, who has the courage to treat me like a woman. For you and for me the highest moment, the keenest joy, is not when our minds dominate but when we lose our minds, and you and I both lose it in the same way, through love. People living deeply have no fear of death. The dream was always running ahead of me. To catch up, to live for a moment in unison with it, that was the miracle. Whenever you do something that is not aligned with the yearning or your soul, you create suffering. We are never trapped unless we choose to be. Violence is a symptom of impotence. No one should be forced to carry the unfulfilled self of another. When your beauty struck me, it dissolved me. Deep down, I am not different from you. I dreamed you, I wished for your existence. I see in you that part of me which is you. I surrender my sincerity because if I love you it means we share the same fantasies, we share the same madness. Shame is the lie someone told you about yourself. Anything I cannot transform into something marvelous, I let go. We are all engaged in the task of peeling off the full selves, the programmed selves, the selves created by our families, our culture, our religions. It is an enormous task because the history of women has been as incompletely told as the history of blacks. We have been poisoned by fairy tales. The secret of joy is the mastery of pain. That is my essential reason for writing, not for fame, not to be celebrated after death, but to heighten and create life all around me. I also write because when I am writing I reach the high moment of fusion sought by the mystics, the poets, the lovers, a sense of communion with the universe. Love men and women not for their strength but their softness, not for their fullness but their hunger, not for their plenty but their need. 
you fall in love with people's minds. We write to taste life twice, in the moment, and in retrospection. My life is not possible to tell. I change every day, change my patterns, my concepts, my interpretations. I am a series of moods and sensations. I play a thousand roles. I weep when I find others play them for me. My real self is unknown. My work is merely an essence of this vast and deep adventure. Love never dies a natural death. It dies because we don't know how to replenish its source. I want to do things so wild with you that I don't know how to say them. From the backstabbing co-worker to the meddling sister-in-law, you are in charge of how you react to the people and events in your life. You can either give negativity power over your life or you can choose happiness instead. Take control and choose to focus on what is important in your life. Those who cannot live fully often become destroyers of life. The secret of life was breath. That was what I always wanted my words to do, to breathe. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.